Rossby waves, also known as planetary waves, are a special type of wave that occurs in rotating fluids such as the Earth's oceans and atmosphere. They are long, slow moving, and their speed varies with latitude. Rossby waves near the equator can move across the Pacific in a matter of months, while closer to the poles it can take many years for them to travel the same distance. Another remarkable feature of these waves is that they always travel from east to west. They never go in the other direction. To understand why they exist, why they only move in one direction, and why their speed varies with latitude, it helps to consider how the behavior of a rotating fluid changes with latitude. Since Coriolis effect is zero at the equator, a parcel of water right at the equator does not have any real or apparent rotation. So over the course of 24 hours, the parcel of water travels all the way around the world, but when observed from a non-rotating point of reference, there is no spin. Contrast this with a similar parcel sitting right on the North Pole. As the Earth rotates, this parcel also spins, completing one full rotation in 24 hours. So from a non-rotating frame of reference, water at the equator does not spin, while water at the pole does. If, however, we change our perspective to the rotating frame, that is, we move with the Earth at that location, neither parcel has any spin, because we are moving with them. Another way to say this is that the relative spin of the parcel of water is the same as the planetary spin at that location. Things get more interesting if we move the parcels of water. Imagine if we could magically and instantaneously transport this parcel of water from the poles to the equator. It would still have the spin it had before it moved, so relative to the water around it, it would be turning counterclockwise at a rate of one rotation per 24 hours. This spin the water has, based on the angular momentum it brought with it when it was moved, is called its relative vorticity. The water spins because its relative vorticity is different from the planetary vorticity at that location. Similar behavior would be observed if we moved water in the opposite direction. A parcel of water magically and instantaneously moved from the equator to up to the North Pole would keep the lack of spin it had at the equator while the Earth would rotate under it. From the local frame of reference of the rotating Earth, the water would rotate clockwise. These extreme cases of moving all the way from the equator to the poles may seem unrealistic, but the same behavior occurs over smaller distances. A parcel of water sitting in the middle of the North Atlantic at equilibrium with its surroundings would not have any relative vorticity, but even a slight movement to the north would create a situation where relative to the water surrounding it at this new location, the parcel would have a small clockwise spin to it. This relative spin or vorticity would cause it to move to the west. If, on the other hand, it were to move a small distance to the south, it would have a counterclockwise spin relative to its surroundings, also causing it to move to the west. These examples are generalizable. Any movement of a fluid north or south in a rotating system, such as the Earth, will create a slight push to the west. This is true at all latitudes and on either side of the equator. A small move north or south will only result in a small difference between the relative and planetary vorticity of the water involved, which is the reason Rossby waves move so slowly. Near the equator, where planetary vorticity is low, a small shift in latitude results in a relatively large change in relative vorticity as compared to a similar movement at a higher latitude. So the lower the latitude, the bigger the difference between relative and planetary vorticity. This bigger difference results in a larger push to the west and faster wave propagation closer to the equator. As a basic feature of all rotating fluids, Rossby waves form in both our atmosphere and oceans as the result of the Earth's shape and the fact that it rotates. They have also been observed in the atmospheres of both Venus and Jupiter. While all Rossby waves share the same basic properties, the actual behavior of different naturally occurring Rossby waves are more complicated than what's been described above. In the oceans, they are influenced by prevailing wind patterns and the size and shape of each ocean basin. Prevailing wind patterns also influence the formation of Rossby waves in the atmosphere, as does local geography and differential heating between the oceans and land. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it and giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment with any questions or suggestions, and if you want to keep up with the content here at Science Primer, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.